She's so mystical Roll me to my knees She's like an animal Sacrifice me please She shuts the stars at night Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the thumbnail and the title of the video this is another Halloween look um I must say I was all over the place for this video um yeah so when you see me like showing you guys the clips honestly oh shoot I honestly didn't know I knew what I was doing let me just show you a reference photo I have a reference photo of a picture that I was like going based off on and right here focus 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 I was going off of on and when I seen it one night I was just like oh my gosh I have to recreate it so I you know I tried to recreate it got like the gold dumping down on my neck honey I have my blonde wig and on top of that, I wanted to make this video really affordable. So the products that I did use did come from Miss A. And if you don't know who Miss A is, it's a site where everything's a dollar. A dollar. One dollar. So I wanted to make this pretty, pretty affordable. And if I didn't, I used like just affordable drugstore products to create this look. The only thing that wasn't a dollar was this wig. Y'all know dang well. I wouldn't even buy a dollar wig, okay? I got this wig from my local beauty supply in Blonde, honey. Because, you know, I heard blondes have more fun. So, honey, I came to slay. But I have another Halloween idea in mind. So, I had to get a blonde wig. So, I was like, boom, kill two birds in one stone. So, look, y'all, look at these earrings. They even got these dollar earrings from Miss A, honey. Ooh, let's not show them, you know. You know, you know my real hair ain't blonde. But, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial just as much, just as, much as I love filming it for you. I was really shocked at this look. I just got lipstick in my teeth every time I'm filming. Because, like, honestly, you guys, like, it really took me out of my comfort zone. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like, people make, you know, doing Halloween tutorials look easy. But, y'all, this was super easy. But at the same time, like, it just took a while for me to actually get it. And, you know, I'm not mad at it. You know, I ain't mad at it. You know, I'm not mad at it. So, let me stop rambling and let's get into this tutorial. So for this tutorial, I've already prepped and put on foundation already and that will be down in the description box. So right now I'm just going in with the LA Girl Concealer in Fawn and I'm just going to be placing that over the areas that I feel like highlighting today. For some odd reason, now that I'm looking back on this tutorial, oh now I'm putting on some L'Oreal True Match Concealer. For some reason, I want to do my face before, which didn't make any sense because I wanted to play with glitter. And if you're doing glitter, I highly advise that you do your eye makeup first and then your face. But you guys, this tutorial was, I was all over the place. So right now, I'm just blending that in with a damp, clean beauty blender. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going to be blending that in so we can be beat. And I'm using the Ruby Kisses Contour Stick. And I'm just going on my forehead, my jawline. Um, also, also do take this on my nose and then I just blend this out with the brush that I got from Ross and then I also do go over this with my beauty blender just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. set that with my Maybelline shine free pressed powder in medium my highlighted areas I do set that right into the eyes I'm using this black radiance contour palette and I'm taking the shade called scope on this dollar angle brush that I got from Miss A and what I'm basically doing is just drawing a line like above like not in my crease well uh, 
like a little bit above my crease like I don't know like if you like feel your or if you like look in the mirror dead on like you'll like feel like a little bone the eye socket maybe that is my crease and I'm basically just tracing that outline out just so I know where to place my glitter. I decided to use the lightest shade first just to sculpt it out and then I do go in with that contour color that they have in the palette and just deepen that it just serves as a guideline so I know that the glitter doesn't go above that because now I'm just going in with this shadow stick it's a gold color um, and I'm just placing that all over my lid and I also and I take that all the way up to the line as well because I sort of kind of want to cover that line yeah so once I'm done doing that I'm going to wait hold on give me a second y'all because I then I just like drag whatever product that was left on my eye over that line that I drew with the brown eyeshadows then I'm going to set that cream um, shadow that I put I'm going to set that with the highlight um, shade in that um, black radiance palette and I'm just going over this with like a flat top concealer brush and it was also a dollar from Miss A yeah and I'm just using packing motions all over my lid for this then I'm using um, this wet n wild liner only to serve as a guideline so I don't make my wing too big or too small because I will be placing glitter over top of this this just serves as a guideline so basically um, just basically so I don't mess up when I put on the glitter so I'm just gonna just draw a nice little wing you know just a nice little wing a little flick of the wrist um, dang. I have no idea what this is but I'm just taking this liner in gold and going over top of it so we don't see the black just in case if the glitter didn't cover it I was just this is this was just like a second step for insurance so I'm just going over the outline that I created and then once I'm doing once I'm done doing that I go over top with MAC mixing medium just to serve as a adhesive and then I go over it with this glitter that I also got from Miss A. It will definitely be in the description box. It was another dollar. And I'm taking that e.l.f. Um, little small brush. I think that's also a concealer brush. And going, just placing the glitter on with that. That was also a dollar too, y'all. So, yeah. And I know my eyes are already done because I had to take a step back and film off camera. So, I knew what I was doing. So, yeah. Like I said, I was all over the place for this look. Then, I'm going in with MAC Mixing Medium over my lid and placing more glitter on. But this time, this is the NYX Gold Glitter that I will be putting on. And I'm just using the same brush I put for my eyeliner. And, yeah, I'm just patting that all over the lid all the way up to that line we created that was a whole purpose so I wouldn't get too crazy with the glitter then I'm going in with the NYX um, gel liner and I'm just adding more of a sparkle and really going over that line so it doesn't get too uh, messy then I wind up having these bendies sitting at my house and then I was like why don't you put the bendies underneath the liner so basically I just tore bendies that had like the little rhinestones on it and put three underneath my eye taking my Ruby Kisses bronze glow and like really highlighting underneath my brow bone really focused in really focusing focusing it on the um tail end then i'm going in with that nyx glitter liner and just going underneath my brow as almost like i'm highlighting it just because i wanted to sparkle a little bit more and then i do take the dollar glitter from miss a mix in with that and i put that over top then I also take the NYX gel liner again and I go over top and just highlight my brow. Just, just as if I was concealing my brow, I just take the glitter and I'm just drawing a line. Then I also take that into my brow as well a little bit. And just now I'm just drawing four little dots. This was by all means not uniform. I just did one, two, three, four. And then now I'm just going over it with the dollar glitter from Miss A, you guys. Yeah, I just thought the look just needed something more. Then I'm taking that first shade in that Black Radiance palette and Sculpt and running that underneath my lash line. And then I think that's all I'm about to do underneath there. I put on mascara and then I take that first liner thing that I use. And then I just put that on my lashes, on my falsies that I put on, and on my bottom lashes. And then I also take the NYX um, gel eyeliner and run that on my lashes as well. You know, really getting in there. I really can't remember what thing this is called. I can't even remember.
with that same palette that I used on my eyes and just contouring my face. I take the first sculpt shade and then I take the contour shade. And I'm using this Morphe brush. And then I also did pop on my black. Oh, on my. I also did pop on my blonde wig that I got from my local beauty supply. It was $20, you guys. So I'm just setting the contour that I already placed. Except the contour on my forehead because at the end of the day, you really couldn't see my forehead. So out of sight, out of mind, okay top and clean it up um underneath my cheek with my um maybelline sharp release powder you know making sure i'm snatched honey snatch snatch snatched headpiece that i got from miss a y'all this headpiece is actually fly y'all really digging this headpiece i feel like it really brought my look together you know so i can really look like that bronze goddess then applying on my highlight did a little bit too much i'm pretty sure i went over with the ruby kisses bronze glow and then i went over top with the makeup revolution yeah and then this is where it gets tricky so basically i just highlighted my whole chest with the makeup revolution thing i just put it everywhere um this part was a little yeah i just went with the flow with this but yeah i basically just put the highlight just everywhere i just yeah then i was trying to form the little drips that she had but you guys i don't know what i was doing so i just put the gel liner first from nyx trying to map out where i actually wanted the drippings to be as just to serve me to have like an outline for myself but as this video continues you guys I actually get frustrated and I say what the hell so I used this dropper in this um, paint that I had got from party city it's supposed to be like this gold body paint but I thought once I put the dropper and mixed water with it it would just create that effect hell no nah, you guys and I got pissed off so I just wind up just rubbing the dropper on just rubbing the dropper all over my neck and over my chest y'all because at this point I was so frustrated that it wasn't coming out but you know you know sometimes you just gonna have to roll with it you gotta work out the kinks so basically that's what I did I want to put that thing all over and then I go over top with the NYX gel liner again and basically just move it around so it just looks I thought it looked better but in my mind once it dried it looked so much nicer but right now it didn't look good then I'm taking that NYX gel liner again and I decided that the look wasn't enough so I decided to put freckles gold freckles all over my dang face so that's exactly what I did I wasn't uniform I wasn't doing nothing I was just like dab 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 I just wanted to make sure you know it was all swiggled out and it looked a little bit more nicer and then I go over top with this black radiance gold lipstick and then I take the covergirl lip gloss in gold and just go over top and I also set my face with my urban no yeah well I set my face with my Urban Decay setting spray you can use the NYX matte any setting spray you desire okay but yeah right now you see me going with that cover girl and you guys this is the finished look she's so mystical roll me to my knees feel like an animal sacrifice me please She shuts the stars at night Just because she can 